Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Uh, Earl uses it mostly as a range fighter, then early, that he'd rather just take his time and do what he needed to do, and the big punches would come. Uh, he looked at me, he threw a right hand, and he said he would add to that. And already, at the very beginning. And that he's a converted right hand puncher. Then the right jab and the and over with it. There's the and a cut on the right cheek of Valero. Also selling fruit in the fruit stand. He found a job working at Upian in his homeland of Venezuela. DeMarco landed this punch that we believe caused the cut. That was the, the really good jab that we believe caused the cut on the cheekbone of Edwin Valero. The jab was a very effective weapon for DeMarco on that one, and that's where he wiped the blood. But Valero was able to land a telling straight left hand. That second one was the good pill in black. The DeMarco in time frame with stoppages. That's where DeMarco doesn't want People telling us that they want to keep this fight in the center of the ring. There's a left hand. But Antonio DeMarco is. He's just like a, like a freight train with that. But he really turns his punches over. Come out of nowhere. You know, Valero is showing some good tonight. Valero with both hands down. Valero saying that he caught an elbow. Now he's got a gash oh, over his right hand. Yeah, that didn't come from a punch. Whoa. I guarantee you that. Double good other doctor on the thing. Wow. Yeah. That is a major oh, match. My. Yeah, there's no way a punch caused that. Oh, a, a, a doctor, where's the doctor? Take a look at it. Doctor. Juan Francisco Arenas is the ringside oh, doctor. The left elbow will come around and hit the forehead. The right hand was there, and there comes the elbow. There's no question that's what created the cut on the forehead of Edwin Valero. Wow, that's a rough one. But the interesting thing is that later on in the round, Valero would lose his mouthpiece and have to fight a long time. That left hand got there. For DeMarco, he just wants to get out of these first three rounds, and he has landed some meaningful punches. There's no question about that. Oh, big left hand by Valero. Very, very well. Valero. And he is landing some very good punches, but taking left. Very good chin. We've seen him in some fights recently, especially showed some tremendous boxing skills against the slip good lefts. And so far, they have not stunned or hurt DeMarco. There's another one. Valero coming into this fight because he hadn't really fought great opposition. Were, was he a great knockout puncher or what? Once. In the first round. And now we go. expect to see DeMarco all the skills. He's not a bad defensive fighter, and I'm gonna he punches in combination better than you even think. And he keeps his hands low in punching range. Nice stiff jab by DeMarco. 
neutral view, the judges may see it differently, but singular punches from DeMarco look good. There are big shots by Valero. DeMarco, the forehead of DeMarco, you don't know if it's Valero's blood or not. And look, he's coming forward. And a slight cut on his right eye. Another combination not gone into deep waters very many times. Tell, but I think he felt the power of Valero. I don't think it's for Valero. Two judges with a 39-36 and orange big margin. And remember a closer all night. A two for four. I have it 40-35. Now DeMarco starting to stand in the early told us before the fight would be able to control the, the crowd being informed of the scoring at That left hand by Valero was a strong 130 to 135 pounds super featherweight champion as well. He's rolling that left hand. He has to be careful. Time! To the judges who is running away with this fight. Uh, Valero say, keep going, but if it is stopped, right side of Valero's head. And push your fighter back. And they're caught this way of Manny Pacquiao. And there's the straight left again by Valero. And Valero does some things. He jabs to the body. He faints. He's a more complete fighter than I thought when I watched the tape. Here comes DeMarco. But he's certainly never been stopped. And again, another left hand. Body Ooh, the head. Straight left hand. Of First good body shots landed a long time by either fighter. Pablo Chiarte wants to make sure that his fighter fights technically. But at the same time, you sometimes for DeMarco. He's dug a monster hole for himself. This round has been won by Valero as well. Scheduled for 12 for the WB. Hands go. He's going backwards. He needs to start moving. He told me during our meeting that his right hand is strong. Yeah, and you know, we've seen him perform very well. But again, oh, nice hook. But again, we have not seen him against this caliber. American public that he's a future superstar in this weight class. Hey, double left hook. They said he was like water with his hand speed and also with his footwork. Beating yesterday that he can do that if need be, and we've seen him do that. I see it. Absolutely, Gus. I didn't see it on the tapes. You see it tonight. Confused. Because Valera, a lot of punches from weird angles. DeMarco missing. Oh, look at the quickness and the slickness. Well, he has controlled every one of these rounds, Valero, and he's done it primarily with the jab straight left hand. But as Gus pointed out, he also has thrown some wider punches like those left hands he threw and the right hooks. Setting things up with the jab, but here, that overhand. He's fought a few times in the United States, but now in the tenth. Now this, oh my, what a left hand by Valero. So Valero does know what it's like to control the latter part of a fight and win it. But in this round, and that's the danger for DeMarco. When you come left like he did. Valero, very effective tonight with that step back after he delivers his combination. And he's also, because of his slip fighting, taking the crowd out of his fight. Oh, me. Left hand. There's another one. Now Valero starting to pick up. 24-year-old DeMarco. DeMarco landing a right hook. DeMarco needs to turn this around with a monstrous right hook, and that'll be what does it if he can. And that's what he needs right now very badly. And like Manny Pacquiao, though, Al punches in combination from different... The matter is, he is showing all those nuances. Maybe Floyd. Well, oh, or just, potentially. No oh, that's Mayweather. That's my <laughs> Okay, there you go. Floyd has never lost. <laughs> I've sacked him as Pacquiao. <laughs> Eight rounds. Scheduled for 12. 17 seconds to go. Oh, beating in there. Although it looks like Valero is the fighter that has actually taken the beating, but he is too slick. <laughs> What, what do you want to do? So, keep your head up. What do you want to do? Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Let's see. 
We, we came here to win. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm feeling good. Tony DeMarco in a lot of trouble now, folks. Valero now for the knockout, but he wants it. For Valero, there's still danger to get hit with a right hook, but he is landing big shot. That left hand is vicious. Now he goes to the body, comes over the top. Marte, who is as close as you can be. 100%. Kiarte kept asking Tony what he wanted to do. And there was talk in DeMarco's corner that if he didn't get busier, they were going to stop the fight. Nice straight left hand, what he's done in this fight. Ooh, by Valero. Ooh. One, two, stiff. And forward. DeMarco and his people up. Monstrous left by Valero. They asked for Valero. They wanted to fight him. They thought the style of DeMarco would lend itself to beating Valero. Like a lot of other people, I think they underestimated some of the skills of Valero. Seven seconds to go in the ninth round, scheduled for 12. Now, Tony DeMarco, mouth open, tired. A beaten man as he slowly walks back to his corner. Yes, go. Is that, is that it? Is that it? That's it. We're not gonna go, not gonna go anymore. That's it. That's it, folks. Tony DeMarco. When it looked like this fight could turn because this unintentional elbow, we assume unintentional, that was the way it was called, hit uh, Valero on the forehead and caused that terrible gash. At that juncture, and he was making sure Lawrence Cole knew it was an elbow, though any look at that cut would tell you on the forehead it had to be caused by something other than a cut. Valero, though, kept his concentration and came back and landed big punches to show DeMarco that that had not taken him out of his game plan and that Valero was going to continue the assault. Great world, Edwin Dinamita. 